Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited and also very nervous for this video. I am going to be doing another slow fashion style challenge and I feel like I've been working my way up to these things. So I originally did one where I like styled just three different items in three different ways. And then I did the like week long one where Dan dressed me for a week. And then I did the 10 by 10 challenge, which was 10 days. And now we're upping it to a month. Ooh, <laughs> spicy. So in this video, I am going to attempt to do the ways to wear challenge, which was created by Jeanette actually on Instagram. So she did this challenge for the month of January this year. And as you are watching this video in April, I did it slash am doing it for the month of March. So these are the rules. Number one, once I pair two items together, I cannot pair them again. Each outfit should be unique. And number two, no item can be worn more than three times to encourage using everything that I've got. Ooh. I feel like I'm gonna have to create a spreadsheet or some kind of note system to actually keep track of all of the items to make sure that I don't use them more than three times, create a tally sheet for each item. So Jeanette also put two other things, one that she was gonna share her outfit every day on her Instagram and use the hashtag. I'm just gonna show you them all in this one video, maybe, or just do roundups. I honestly have no idea because just doing the 10 by 10 challenge and like filming my outfit every day, it's a lot. So I might try a slightly different approach. Also, I realized doing the 10 by 10 challenge, just how, <laughs> uncreative I am in terms of finding places to shoot and photograph my outfits. Like check out Jeanette's Instagram. Honestly, all of the different outfit poses that she does are so different and her home is so aesthetic for it. And I'm just like, there is a limited amount of corners in my house <laughs> that look good on camera. And then the fourth thing in her rules is that anything that she didn't wear at all by the end of the month, she was going to donate or sell. Now, the idea of doing that is terrifying to me because I do have a whole bunch of clothes that are like summer clothes, so I will not be wearing those in March, unless for some reason we get a heat wave and I manage to like bust out my denim shorts, but unlikely. And then also I've got like some fancy clothes, like I've got the dress that I was supposed to wear as a bridesmaid to Mel's wedding. And then I also have my own wedding dress and then I also have some other like fancy outfit clothes, but maybe it'll be an excuse to like actually bust those out and wear them. We shall see. So I'm not committing to that final rule because we're still in lockdown and there's only so much inspiration in terms of what I'm up to every day that I can take for my outfits. But other than that, very excited, can't pair two items together twice and can only wear an outfit three times maximum during the month. Lena, I'm really excited you're doing this challenge with me. I know, I feel like it's gonna be nice doing it with somebody so I'll be accountable because I yeah. often need somebody working next to me checking my homework otherwise. <laughs> I will be scrutinizing all of your outfits. I'll be like, uh, 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 you've won that three times already. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll just throw a tantrum and just be like, right, I'm being naked today. Haven't done that before. <laughs> mm. Are you excited about this challenge? What What are you nervous about, I guess? I feel like I have two issues. One is that I don't wear all the clothes in my wardrobe. Mm -hmm. The other one is that I get obsessed with certain items in my wardrobe and I don't want to stop wearing them. Yeah. So actually my concern is that there'll be certain items that I'm very attached to and then I won't be able to wear it because I've used up my three. Yeah, but so you have to make those problems, three really special. Yeah, and those two problems, now I'm saying them aloud, are probably really connected because I'm obviously just like getting obsessed with them. I have a question. Do mm -hmm. leggings, like just plain black leggings, count as an item or are they more like tights? I would say that if you are wearing them like you'd wear tights 
and you also have an item on your bottom half, mm. then they are. So if you're wearing a T-shirt with leggings, I think that should count as an item. Got it. Yeah. But in these lockdown times, that's an understandable thing. I think you mm -hmm. should do that. But if you're wearing a skirt and then you're wearing leggings underneath a the skirt, then I don't think it should count. Right. Okay. I've that's, got no that's, data to back that's this up. Good news that's just how I feel. I think that makes sense. I think that can be a rule that we instate. It does make me terrified, though, that it means that I can only wear leggings without a skirt or a dress or something on top only yeah. three times. I'm actually also really excited for this challenge because um, I'm currently renting somewhere that doesn't have a washing machine. So actually the more clothes yeah. I wear, <laughs> the, the greater I smell. It's just gonna pile up <laughs> you're, yeah. you're watching. You're like, oh God. I thought fine. you were about to say you're currently renting clothes. I am also currently renting clothes, but I have to give them back on the eight. Oh, well that gives you at least like the first week yeah, that's Some true. Extra okay. outfits Perfect. that you can put together. I'm currently renting a very nice jumper and a very nice shirt. Is the jumper you're wearing now, now a rented it's, one? It's not. No, this is one of my own. I'm excited to find some items of clothing that I haven't worn in ages. And also because like spring is slightly like, like whispering it. in. Like I don't want to jinx, <laughs> jinx it. I don't want to do because it's been mm. really nice. I'm also going to join you in not necessarily throwing away anything I don't wear, but I think that maybe there's going to be a purgatory corner and then maybe in a couple of months I'll return and be like, you need to really prove your worth to me. Otherwise you have to get out, you know? Yeah. I feel kind of like, like put them on the naughty step. <laughs> yeah. I feel like when I get to that last week, if there's a limited amount of clothes left that I can wear and mm. there's still a few that I'm just avoiding because I'm just like, I don't want to wear you and it's not because of the weather it might be a sign yeah i think we'll have to it's a case-by-case -case basis okay it's day one and i'm in my pants and i'm feeling confident the danger i think here is arrogance like i could pick anything but let's not get too excited we have to pace ourselves we can't pick all our favorite things on the first day. i'm overthinking it let's just pick something <laughs> Okay, day one and I've gone for something pretty simple. Just some long black dungarees, very stylish slippers and this purple and pink squiggly jumper. I do also have a black leopard print t-shirt underneath. So let it be known that that should probably count. But I'm quite happy with today's outfit, it's very cute. Week one update. I'm really enjoying this challenge, but for me, it's really difficult not to just wear all of my favorite clothes in the first week, like get the three wears out of them. And so I'm trying to rein it in because that could very easily happen. So I'm trying to like think outside the box a bit more and save some of my favorite clothes. If you can hear that. It's Dan blowing his nose in the other room. <laughs> but it is week two and on my friend Lena's channel, she's making a whole video about Mean Girls. And so for this week of the month, we are dressing up as Mean Girls characters. So we're combining two challenges. If you wanna see that video, go watch it on Lena's channel. There'll be a link in the description. Um, but today is Regina George. This is what I'm going for, yeah. I can't believe this. <laughs> Lucked out with having this top. It's just so perfect for Regina George. And then I've just got like a black mini skirt on. But yeah, you will be able to spot my Mean Girls-ish. It's kind of like Disney bounding, but for Mean Girls throughout the next <laughs> week of outfits. But if you want to see them in more detail and you want to see leaders, obviously head to her channel. I really like for this week that I have this other challenge to do because it actually means I'm gonna be wearing clothes I don't normally pull out because 
I don't really dress like Mean Girls characters <laughs> normally, um, which means I'm not like going straight for like my favourite items, which means in the final two weeks of this challenge, I'll still have some of my favourite clothes to wear and style, which I'm very pleased with. On with week two. over the weekend where I have this jumper that I've been borrowing from on loan and it's beautiful and I'd worn it three times and I couldn't wear it yesterday and I was really heartbroken about it but it did make me wear something else and also I do need to return that jumper today so it was almost time up with it but that was the first time that I was a bit like my rules are preventing joy <laughs> although maybe not maybe it's fine it definitely made me wear something else though that's the, that's the main thing right today is the beginning of Mean Girls Week Last week was super fun doing all of the Mean Girl stuff and I especially loved like having a bit of a challenge and like having the mood board and like knowing what you were going for but then having to cosplay just from items that I already owned in my wardrobe. That was a lot of fun. And also I busted out some items of clothing that I have not worn in years and that was really great. But we are back to my faves in week three. And I have like a couple of items that are on two wears so that they have like one wear left, including these two. So I might have to save these for the final week um, because I just love them so much and I don't want to retire them at the moment. But so far, so good. I think the one place that I'm going to struggle with is jumpers and keeping warm. like. I'm still a bit too chilly inside, like just wearing a top, like I do occasionally need to add an extra layer. And I'm like, okay, I do have a lot of jumpers, but do I have enough to last me for the rest of this month if I'm only allowed to wear each one three times? We will see, I think I can do it. I think I've got more jumpers than I think I do. Uh, <laughs> so I think I'll be fine, but it's just about my preference because I have some jumpers that are more my favorites than others. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna some and put it in this track. <laughs> it's uh, Monday. I'm halfway through the experiment and I already had to retire quite a few items of clothing. Just some jeans and a top. But is it normal to be this sad about it? I'm really sad about it. Is that... But then again, I think also maybe that's showing me that I was depending on those items too much to style stuff and I can branch out more now, I guess, but I want my Lucy and Yang jeans back. I love them so much. <laughs> Surprise, made it to the end of week three and I still haven't retired a single item of clothing. Also, 
yes, chocolate orange blender. Delicious. I clearly have enough clothes that I won't wear or I don't have to wear like one item more than three times or more than twice even. I'm, I've got a lot of items that are on two wears, but I'm like purposefully trying not to retire any of them. Like I've, it's like I've set this like little challenge for myself. I'm like, how many other combinations and like other outfits can I put together without wearing something three times? Like I know I'm allowed to wear something three times, but now I've like set this challenge in my head of like, well, let's see how many other unique outfits we can make without repeating items of clothing. I'm excited for this final week to kind of like go out with a bang, maybe. <laughs> That's my intention, but who knows if it all happened that way. One thing I will say that happened in the last week though, that there was definitely like a bit more of me trying new combos and like it not quite working, but we just went with it anyway. Cause you know, this is the time for experimentation and you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work and you've still gathered some valuable information. left with the experiment and I have 12 items yet to wear. Four days, 12 items. I'm not panicking, you're panicking. So I split my wardrobe into stuff that I have definitely worn at least once. A lot of these I've worn like three times and then had to relegate. And then over here is the stuff that I haven't yet worn. I'm gonna have to do a lot of combo outfits, but I believe in myself. <laughs> Okay, don't laugh, but I think I've done a little winning, if not at least unexpected <laughs> combination. Um, so this is one of my favorite fruit dresses that I kind of like haven't been wearing just cause I was like trying to get to the stuff that I don't automatically wear, even though I usually wear this all the time, <sighs> but needs must. I also have this tartan kind of sheer shirt. That I was like, does this go? It's kind of like picnic-esque, no? vegetables and tartan, kind of the same color scheme, maybe, but then I really pushed the boat out. <laughs> and I got this corduroy shirt. And then I've got <laughs> burgundy tights and these very fetching tartan slippers. I think it goes without saying I wouldn't have put this outfit together if it wasn't for this challenge, but I don't think it's the worst. I don't think it's the worst. You guys have a little look. Spring is here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So last week I retired a few items. It was gonna happen, I don't know why I thought I could get through this without retiring a single item, but several of my favorite items have now been retired, which has made it a bit more difficult. Like every morning I'm actually kind of like going, right, what the fuck do I wanna wear? What can I wear? Or like, what haven't I worn yet? But also it is now spring. The clocks went forwards. It is really sunny for these last few days of March. And so I'm like, oh, there's a whole other wardrobe that is available to me now. So I've like busted out my three quarter length -like high-waisted lighter jeans. I've got this like crop top on. I think I've definitely gone a bit too hard. Like it's, <laughs> I can't really go outside in this. I'd still need layers, but there's a lot more of my wardrobe that is now available to me. And I'm very excited to put together some like <laughs> spring <laughs> outfits for the next few days. I just, it's just brightened my spirits. When I was honestly kind of struggling with this challenge last week, I was just like wanting to wear different outfits, like having to do different combos. I was just like, what is available for me to wear? And then what do I have that will go with it that I haven't already worn with it or isn't retired? But I've got a new lace of life in me for this next few days. The final sprint. <laughs> project 
is helping me do is to go towards those items that I've been secretly avoiding because I know they're broken and I should probably fix them, i.e. today's outfit, this clasp, which I have now, because of this project, just learned. It's called a Web Decker Hook and it's something that I have just ordered from the internet so that I can fix this. It's probably been like this for about two months and I either just wear like sloppy t-shirts with it, which I've run out of because of the project, or I just like avoid wearing them. And that's stupid because I love them and I need to wear them, but why did it take me this long? I don't know. Here we are. <laughs> later how was it we survived <laughs> we survived i did have some very interesting outfits towards this week i don't know if you see my yeah i had some questionable choices and there were some days where i was just like oh, what combos have i not like done yet and i committed to it but i don't think they worked but that's what i was like i wanted to save as many items as possible so i was like i'm doing this they will be crammed into an outfit i don't care. yeah how many items did you retire in the end at least four items i'm pretty sure yeah and i think were, mine's about that three of them were the colorful lucy and yak jeans <laughs> because nice. i wear them all the time so i was very sad i haven't been able to wear jeans in a while but uh <laughs> they're just a staple and there were definitely ones that i was getting close to retiring but i was like i'm gonna save it in case i have a day where i need to wear it <laughs> which yeah. made me realize how emotionally dependent i am on clothes but i was like oh i can't use my third day on that <laughs> i had a lot of that as well I think the thing that I've struggled with this challenge is that it put me in a scarcity mindset <laughs> rather than like in an abundant mindset. Yeah. <laughs> like I have so many clothes, I can wear whatever I want. Whereas it's like, must save the best ones, like must keep them pristine and not use them too much, which isn't what you want. You want to be using your clothes a lot, but it did make me find items that I was just like, ah, forgot about you. It's like going to the party and finding somebody in the corner who's like, oh, I haven't talked to you all night, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, that kind of resulted though in the clothes that I didn't wear ended up being my usual favourite kinds of clothes because I was like saving them. <laughs> so there's some in the pile that technically I should get rid of, but I'm like, these are my favourite clothes and I before this month I wore them a lot. It's just because I was like trying to wear my unworn clothes. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I forgot about you. Yeah, no, I think I did that a lot. I was just like, oh, let's try and save the stuff that I always wear and so go for the other bits. And then I'm like, yeah. oh, I didn't wear any of my favourite clothes. <laughs> Which is good though, it means everything got a bit more of an air. It actually yeah. also made me wash some of the clothes that definitely needed to be washed. <laughs> I retired three items so it's only no wait hold on how many is that no four four things oh wow we both were four it was my green hoodie which is just a, a hoodie that i've had for like 10 years and it's just a green hoodie and it honestly like doesn't really go with that many things but sometimes when i'm like i need a layer that is mm. an open layer rather than an enclosed jumper layer. And so I'll just wear it on top. And I'm not really going outside that much. So whatever layer I'm wearing, it honestly doesn't matter. But the green hoodie got used. My Lucy and Yak fleece got used three times. My Levi's jeans and another open front layer, my big woolly cardigan thing. That's interesting to me. Cause that's also an area that I'm like, this is an item of clothing that I'm missing, which is more like layers to keep me warm, but that are open so you can still see the rest of the outfit. Did you have any fave outfits that were surprising, like new outfits that you hadn't put together yeah. before? So there's, um, maybe you can put it on screen. There's this, there's this um, very interesting ensemble where I was like very um, determined to wear all these items. So I had like a turtleneck tartan top with my like veg, dress that was like but it was like a, it was a confident pattern clash yeah we love pattern and pattern. Like, yeah and then like a colorful shirt on top and i was just like i think i'm just going for like chaotic art teacher that's the only way i can combine all these items but i did have not like all it. of your outfits chaotic art teacher <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, this, this was like on speed. This was like chaotic art teacher about to be fired because she's really going over the edge. But yeah, so I think that was cool. And I think maybe I realised I have a lot of patterns in my wardrobe and it's okay to pattern clash. 
because that's the only way I'm gonna use all my items. So mm. that's interesting. How about you? My favorite like surprise outfit, I was just like, oh, was actually this jumpsuit. And literally the only reason why I pulled this out was because of your Mean Girls video as well. So if we weren't oh, doing yeah. that, I probably wouldn't have like refound this jumpsuit. And I think the reason why was because I, this is like, it's a velvet black jumpsuit. It's gorgeous. But I had compartmentalized it as this is a fancy event item of clothing, right? And then yeah. I was wearing it and I was cold and I put over it my Disney Mickey Mouse, like white and black uh, jumper. Okay. And it looked so good. And and I wore like white trainers with it. And then I had my leather jacket on top when I went out and I was just like, oh shit, this is a look. <laughs> That's so cool. Cause it's like that, it's like a cozy texture and it's like- It's, white it's like it's wearing like pajamas. Yeah. Why didn't I think of this before? It's like looking fancy, looking like I put myself together, but I'm wearing pajamas. And also if that, this hadn't happened, then that like jumpsuit would have been in the wardrobe, like sadly waiting for an event that may never happen. Like probably was in there for another six months. Yeah. But I also find it funny that I'm such a color and a pattern person. And then like my favorite outfit from the entire month is like black and white. <laughs> like the black. I'm also renting two items this month. So I was <gasps> renting this, which make, kind of makes me look like a leopard chameleon. So that was really fun. And it made me wear those as well and like experiment with those. Cause I think if I hadn't been doing this, I probably would have worn them with the same items because I'd worked out how to style them where it pushed mm. me to actually them. So that was good it's as well. It's a fun challenge like, as well when you only have an item available for a month and you're like, how many different yeah. ways can I wear this thing? Yeah, it's stressful, but like in a fun way. I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I literally just got myself an on loan order. Oh really? It's <laughs> actually related to another clothes video I'm doing. So look out for that people. One of the challenges that I found was like decision fatigue. Yeah. I definitely got decision fatigue by the end of the month because normally I'm like not making decisions about what I wear because I'm just like, oh, I know these things go together. Oh, comfy leggings, jumper, like whatever. And then for an entire month, every single day, I have to be like, okay, what haven't I worn yet? What haven't I put together yet? I have to like look through my list, look through all of my photos to be like, wait, did I wear that with that already? And it's like, yeah. my brain just by the end is just like so grateful this morning that I didn't even have to think. <laughs> but I think that's what's interesting that's different about us with lockdown as well is that you kind of like don't wear makeup that much. And I just started wearing makeup every single day because it was like holding my day together. <laughs> so I feel like I've like been dressing up more and wearing more makeup in lockdown than ever. <laughs> And I've like, just been like, like how can I look put together but still be wearing my pajamas? Thank you, Lena, for joining me <laughs> on this challenge. Also, for a week of this month, we did a Mean Girls challenge and you can see that on Lena's channel. And you talked a lot about Mean Girls as well, the film. Oh yeah, we've analyzed Mean Girls. <laughs> okay, there we go. And if you want outfits and Mean Girls analysis, then you know where to go. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.